Sky 4 today flying over the old Lakeside Projects property. The building's long gone, but its remaining roadways overgrown, as are the grounds. It is here where 35-year-old Monica Kennedy, her two sons, 3-year-old Malik and 9-year-old Kyle, died in their sleep of hyperthermia. Sheriff Mike Bouchard says Monica had somehow decided people were out to kill her, including sheriff's deputies. And she left her apartment only a mile away from here on foot with the three children looking for safety. Over the course of a couple days, we actually had been getting calls about uh, a woman and kids not dressed appropriately for the conditions. Deputies would go there, look all through the area and couldn't find anybody. Uh, we later learned from the surviving daughter that she had told her kids any time anybody approached to run. They found themselves in this neighborhood off of Branch Street. Neighbor Charles Witherspoon saw police activity yesterday and spoke with a neighbor who had spoken with the family on Saturday. They was hungry. I said, well, that, uh, what you do with? She said, I, I didn't let him in, but her brother, Arthur, he, she said he tried to give the young lady some money, and she wouldn't accept it. They wound up in this field, near an abandoned old SUV at the edge of Crystal Lake. They were in the field. Um, she told the kids to lay down and sleep, and unfortunately, that's where they perished. What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this raining Thursday. I'm doing pretty good myself. A little bit of drowsy though, but other than that, I'm doing fine. Wow, you know, um, there's some very, very uh, sinister things that's taking place around us, more so than ever. As a matter of fact, ever since the uh, snake venom, you know, came up on the scene, if you understand what I'm saying, okay? There has been an influx of strange going ons in this country you understand what i'm saying uh michigan mom and two kids found frozen to death in park the daughter survives okay this had to be a very very bad case of paranoia for this woman right here i don't know what the hell she was experiencing or what she was going through but you know um it's a situation also up on the scene, not in this particular case that I'm aware of, but I'm just throwing it out there about electronic harassment. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I will be doing a commentary on that somewhere in the new, near future, most high willing. You understand? But uh, I don't know what could make a person leave their house, you know, um, not clothed properly, you know, like this woman right here with her three children in the neck of the winter, just to wander the streets and say, you know, like homeless people and be like they hungry. But then when someone try to offer money to help, you won't take that. You see, something is wrong, you know, and it's real easy to write things off as mental illness. But the thing is, is this, they said that before this particular situation, this woman had no kind of uh, signs of mental illness or anything like that, okay? So something else is going on. Something else is going on, and, and we better learn to start facing the facts because, like, for example, when I mention electronic harassment, there are some people that will jump to the conspiracy, conspiracy theory, you know, real quick, you're a conspiracy you know, theory and all that. <laughs> Got nothing to do with that. We better start facing things for the way it is now because there's some strange happenings going on here in people's lives here in this country. Matter of fact, all over the world, but I'm keying in on what's happening here in this country in our neck of the woods. This is not normal right here. So let's get into this particular story and see if we can dissect it for ourselves, okay? As we know, it says here, a Michigan mother and her two children were found frozen to death over the weekend after surviving, after a surviving daughter sought help from a stranger. Authorities said the bodies of Monica Kennedy, 35, and her sons, Kyle Milton, 9, and Malik Milton, 3, were discovered Sunday afternoon in a park in Pontiac, the Oakland County Sheriff's Office said. 
Autopsies reveal all three succumbed to hypothermia. Authorities were alerted to the tragedy by Kennedy's 10-year-old daughter, who knocked on the door and said her family was dead nearby. The daughter is in stable condition at, a, at the hospital. This tragedy was based in a mental health crisis. Sheriff Michael Bashard said at a Monday press conference, you know, see, here we go, mental health. But okay, what kind of signs did this woman right here distribute before doing this bizarre act right here of leaving her home, you know, not bundled up in the neck of the winter to one of the streets with her three children talking about they hungry and ain't got nowhere to live. But when somebody tried to give them something to eat, I mean, some money or whatever, what I'm saying, to get them something to eat, they refuse it. Something else is afoot other than just mental health crisis, you know, but they quick to say that. But to continue, Kennedy allegedly believed someone was trying to kill her. Fox 2 Detroit reported she fled from her apartment nearby sometime last week after relatives noticed her paranoid behavior. Um, the family allegedly spent Saturday knocking on doors and telling people they were hungry. Kennedy refused to accept money and continued to wander the area. Okay? My question is this. If the family was aware of her paranoid behavior, what brung it on, number one? Why did y'all ask what the hell is going on? Number two, if you knew she was doing things like this, why didn't you get out here and go look for her and find her and get her? And them three children. I just don't understand. There's so many unanswered questions here. You know? And this is uh, Monica Kennedy right here. Who was found dead on Sunday alongside uh, two of her children. You know, little fellas right here. I guess this is little three-year-old Malik right here. You know, Kennedy. Or what have you his name is. You know. Messed up situation. And this is the field. We saw that busted up car. You know, understand? I mean, that they was, I guess, you know hiding out in or whatever you know um, it goes on to say here though Bashard also said law enforcement received calls in recent days about a understressed family on the streets in the cold when officers searched the area however they did not find anyone Kennedy instructed her children to hide if someone approached them Fox 2 Detroit reported uh, eventually Bashard explained she told them to lie on the ground and sleep. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. The girl that survived woke up. No one else did, Bashar said, according to WXYZ. You know, and this is the other, the, I guess he's the you know, nine-year-old fella right here. This is crazy. It's just too many unanswered questions here. Why did this woman feel like somebody was trying to kill her what ran her up out of that house for where she wanted to run you know through the streets with her children it's crazy ain't nothing making sense at this point but to continue here Bashar concluded the press conference by pushing for funding for mental health resources mental health is one of the largest challenges of this time he said the state and federal government needs to provide us with funding that allows us to perform more mental health services in partnership with the mental health community, including having more mental health practitioners on our team that can be part of a holistic response to mental health calls. Okay? It's always mental health. And I got a good feeling we're going to see a lot more of mental health cases in the near future where somebody like this just run up out their house and do what this woman did right here you understand talking about mental health yeah it does appear that way but something tells me there's something more sinister afoot in this situation right here okay goes on to say here a gofundme has also been set up for kennedy uh surviving daughter who is now parentless the children's father Kyle Milton was murdered in 2021. His accused killer's trial is underway, WXYZ reported. She was a good mama. She took care of her babies. 
They were stressed warm, excuse me, they were dressed warm. They had clothes always matching. Hair done, they were clean. Kyle Milton's stepmother, Teresa Milton, told the outlet of Kennedy. Um, Milton said she had no knowledge of Kennedy's mental anguish. Okay? So, again, you had no knowledge of her mental anguish. What brought it on? A lot of times, you know, if people are mental ill, mentally ill, they'll start doing stuff that, you know what I mean, right before your eyes, and you'll start seeing a change in that person. But this woman right here, the aunt said, or stepmother that is, said that she didn't see nothing like that with this woman. So, like I said, man, hey, there's a lot of unanswered questions on and something sinister is happening. I ain't guarantee that much. You know, that's just what it is. Uh, Kennedy was described, excuse me, described by family as a good mama who uh, doted on her children, her young children. Now, here in conclusion... They were amazing. They was amazing. That is so smart. And it's just sad. So sad that they were so young. Didn't even get it to experience life yet. Kennedy's brother, Andre Hardison, told Fox to Detroit. Hardison said he still has questions about the circumstances surrounding his sister's death. And I wouldn't blame her. I just want to know what happened. What was in her system? I need answers to that so I can know what type of state of mind she was in. This never ever has been her. You see, he even said this wasn't her right here. This is crazy. So what came about that made a change to where this woman carried on like this? We want to know too, you know. But in the meantime and in between time, we're going to keep an eye out to see if we're going to start seeing a high uptick, you know, in stories like this about people, you know, just running out the house, thinking somebody's after them, you know, over paranoid or whatever, like this woman right here. You know, I'm pretty much leaning on what I believe was really at foot. You understand what I mean? But being that the wicked, sinister powers that be. Don't want you talking about it. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, there's only so much that you can say, you know? But look, I will say this. Be advised to keep an eye on your relatives that may have went out and uh, took the free hand out, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> keep an eye on them and see how they act. See what they're about. See how they, you understand, move around. See how they do, you know? And if you start noticing some strange goings on, then, hey, just maybe there's some side effects that these people are experiencing. Just want to put that out there. That's all I got on this one, people. I want you to tell me what you think about this particular story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it in the comment section. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.